Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how we can create a very basic discount calculator using JavaScript and very basic HTML and CSS. All right. So I also have the preloader here. So let's jump for the demo first. So we have two fields. We have the actual price and the discount. So if I put up here 100 as my price and the discount, which is 10 percent and as normal, you know, the results. It should be 90 and once I click to the calculate you see the preloader works for three seconds and it shows us the discounted price all right so how all those functionalities are going to work I'm going to explain you each and everything with the code so let's jump in and get started here all right guys so welcome back here so you need to open your uh, any text editor you want I always recommend visual studio code so as as explained in my all my videos most of the code has been written in the visual studio code so just let's jump into get started here so i just uh, create my very first file which is the index.html i also created here style.css for my styling and later on we will also create the file separate file for the loaders all right so i just go to index.html we create a very basic markup and here i'm going to put up a discount calculator that's what we are going to create and we are using a bootstrap here and so you simply need to go to the uh, you can go to the getbootstrap.com and put the link here and uh, next we have our style.css as a link that we have our very basic styling and you can also grab from there and uh, i already have written my style.css so i'm going to i created the link here i put up my all the code style.css so very basic that strike means for all the padding and margin by default to be zero for my border boxing and uh, we have a very basic body we give the font family of lato sans serif the font size should be 18 pixel line height the spaces should be 1.6 and background image i use a gradient here you can put up any any color that you want and we are using a flex so display flex justify content center and align item center that means that it will put up everything into the center uh, and uh, the uh, the flex direction to be column wise that means that we have uh, stack uh, to our uh, not the in, in a vertical way and the minimum height for our document which is 100 100 viewport height all right so these are all the basic uh, styling and uh, if you guys are not aware of that don't worry you can ask me the questions on on by commenting me on the so I want to explain you or I want to create the separate video for it if you're interested to understand that all right next we are inside the index.html file and I, all I'm going to do is to fetch the form that I have already created I grab the uh, my form and put up here it's very basic I all I use is a very basic bootstrap so uh, we have used a container for for the padding margin which is normally it gives the space for uh, from the left and mo pick, uh, moves everything into the center, right? So then we have the row for horizontal wise. So I created some call dash md dash six. So this is all uh, the um, column wise. I want to give it the space for six because remember Bootstrap have twelve in a row. So we I give it the first field discount calculator, which is the price. I give it the ID of the price and I also give the discount. Uh, and uh, we have a button here with the input type of set uh, of submit and down here we you see also loader i put up three spans here with the id of loader and um, on on um, once we click on the submit button it will show this div which i have given the id of result which later on um, will be display none because once we click on the submit it loads the data and put up put up everything all right so i hope this this all would be clear to you and let's see into our how it looks like so i'm opening with my live server so it's open with my live server as you see that it's still showing me i, I cannot write also on the discounted price itself it will generate the results on its own so how i did that it's very simple just simply put the um, attribute disabled for we cannot edit that we cannot edit this field and next i'm going to jump into the style.css or i would create a separate main.js file all right so i'm all i'm going to do is to create a javascript file inside my index.html and put that down after the ending div and uh, 
I'm going to create another file with the name of main.js. So this is where we will do all the stuff and that's where I'm going to explain everything to you. So first we are going to do is to get the form ID, which is discount dash form. So it's very simple. I'm using here document DOM properties. So document dot get element. So document dot get element by ID. I give it the form ID, which is discount dash form. All right. Next, we are using the add event listener. Once we will click to that submit button, then it will uh, uh, show some results. But I want to do it later on. So we get the discount dash form ID from the form. And uh, next, I'm doing is to we can also hide the results. So document dot get element by ID. And by default, the result ID will be display none. So I'm gonna give it the style dot display equal to none that's basically it will hide the the div id and if i go back to it and refresh it it's still not hide let's see why it's not so so div id of result and uh, main dot js that's fine and uh, okay we will see it later on first i want to create another fun we will create a function here with the name of calculate discount so all i'm gonna do is submit comma we create a function here calculate discount all right so we create a function down here so I use a function discount calculator, calculate discount. And here I'm using some variables here. So for the first we have the actual price. So the actual price equal to document dot get element by ID. So that should be price. And this ID is definitely coming at the ID we give to our form, which is the ID of price. And also we have the discount. All right. So I do the same thing. Uh, and also the result that we got after that, which is the discounted dash price. All right. So I'm going to grab from my previous code. It's just simply you need to put up here. All right. So you get all the values uh, to the functions. And uh, all we need is that the values should be uh, precise so after that I give it the value we use um, other variables like price input whatever the input that we pass so um, that should all be actual price whatever the price that we type and it will get the value out of it and parse float means that we can also put some decimal values like the floating values all right so next I'm gonna do is because we want to pass the even so um, next, uh, okay, first we will write the formula of it. So the very basic formula to find a discount is like we have, uh, we create a variable, but whatever the price input we have, and uh, it will divide by 100, right? So it will divide by 100, the, the price, the discounted price, and definitely it's not only n because we need to subtract the price input from the x, like, whatever the price we get after the discount it will subtract from the s x so this is a very basic formula if you guys doesn't understand it's okay you can write your own, own formulas if you want and next after that the formula once you've created it all it will uh, check if it's a finite number means that the number is not like a like a never uh, a long ending number so it first check if the number is is finite means that it's it's the number is fine and uh, it will to fix as a function which will give the result like two decimal values after point and whatever the discounted price will be it will first um, fix it for two decimal value and then show the result using this id result and hide the loader once we are and definitely once we see our result it will show the result into the block and hide the result after that like the loader will be high after showing us the results all right 
And if in, on the other case, if, if we have all the values, like um, if we don't have any other results coming generating from it, so it will, uh, it will ask us to please check your number. All right, so this all being done using a function that we will create. So let's I just create a function here. So it should be right here. All right, so we create a function show error, and this error is basically passed from here. So whatever the parameter that we have, and uh, it will hide the result. Um, like once we have any error, it will it will definitely hide the result because we don't have put any value inside it. And after that, it will hide the loader. All right, and it will create a new div, and that div will be created by using um, because I want to show my error on top of this form all right so for that all i did is uh if i go back to my code so this is my form and it starts from here so we already have the form id of discount dash form so what does it do it will document our query selector on top uh that the selector that we have for the class card and for the heading and that's all be here right so on the heading it will show us the alert alert dash danger which is a bootstrap class it will append the child all right so how it works like we first create an element we create a div element and then we will uh we have passed the class of alert alert dash danger and it will only append the child before once we have an the once we have our fields empty and it will insert error above heading all right so it, it's basically insert before right so after that it will create the alert error on top of the form and we have set the timer which is a function after three seconds the error will be disappeared all right so last thing we also have to clear error function so that's a function that we call after that this function works only when we have um, once three seconds clear and it will clear the error okay so once once i do is i create this function now i'm going to remove that up and create a function here because we need to pass an event so i make an event here and um, i also forget up to call some functions inside that so i'm going to put up everything here so basically the form will works and it will hide the result and show the loader and for two seconds it will stop the uh, form submitting all right so we already called the function and uh, why is that this result oh all right so we already added up that so just remove that all okay so it will hide the results once we submit the button, definitely it will hide the result and um, it will show the loader. And then it, after two seconds, it's going to display the result. All right. So I hope you guys understand uh, most of the stuff. Very basic JavaScript. I cannot um, type everything here. That's really apologize for that, for making this video um, small, um, limited. And so I just... Um, also use here at create text node function so this function will um, put the text whatever the text that we apply on this error it will display the result that which is the please check your number all right so let's see it how it will show the result so i'm going to refresh this and for some certain reasons it's not hiding let's let's see okay yeah it will not uh, show us the results there is a reason because I haven't applied any loader.css file. So let's create, it, create the new loader.css file. So loader.css and put up here inside your index.html. Include that, which is loader.css, saves it. And inside your loader.css, I grab and put everything. So I use this loader ID where you see this ID is coming from this div, all right? So by default, it should be display none, where you see I have put here display none. So 
also the loader will be not display none before we are not getting any results okay so we use the display flex to make everything into the center we align the item center and we have used a loader with all the span tags we apply all these properties that inline block means that it should be inside the block and background color i give it to be purple and we set up the width and height border radius to make it uh, in circular we use the translate 3d zero we use transform property and uh, some animation which is infinite alternate and all these most of the stuff i got from from Google, it's very basic CSS, but main concept is that you guys understand the JavaScript property. And for the end child, for the second means uh, loader, we give it that color of palette violet, whatever we pronounce it. And I give it the delay of two, 0 0.2 seconds. And for the third, I give it the 0 0.4 second. And then I have used the keyframe bounce, which is basically coming from this span tag. And it will x y and z axis we give it the transform property and that's how it all works so let's see and now i'm sure it hides yeah it's working fine uh, let's put here 110 and calculate that you see this pull loader works and after three seconds it disappeared and it shows us the result all right so i hope you guys enjoy and if you really like this video please leave a like and subscribe and share to others and more importantly we will have other stuff to see so um, if you really like my videos and please support us on facebook on other social networks and please spread and share this video for more interesting stuff so that's really much it guys i want to see you for the next time